Well, good morning. And it tells me it's minus six out here. Minus six. That's fairly cold. But then we are into December. Plants are looking a wee bit uh, weary with all this cold weather. Some of them are doing okay. But it's kind of chilly. But as we say, it is December and it is really time for the cold weather. <laughs> so what do we do about it? Well, we hope that the mist clears and we can see a bit more ahead of us eventually. Ahead of us, not only, of course, uh, geographically, but ahead of us as we approach Christmas and, and all that brings. The cold weather, however, also brings us to that point of really requiring to think about what we're wearing. They say there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. And so certainly when it is this cold, we like to wrap up warm. Layers are good, of course. Layers trap the air. Um, layers are good for a number of reasons. Not only do they, they keep you warmer, but when it is icy and it's a bit slippy underfoot and you do go down, there's a bit more padding there to help you not to be hurt because it's quite so hard. <laughs> it does make it harder to get up, of course, the more padding you've got on, but that's another problem altogether. The cold weather produces lots of problems. Around it. I think we went off for a minute there, but it's about having right clothing. Um, and if you've got the right clothing, then it's grand. And, and even to the point of what we wear on our hands, of course, lovely, lovely gloves, which keep you warm and allow you to be able to do things as well, like work phones um, and press buttons. And when you're not doing that, you can just snuggle them in and keep them cosy warm there too. It's great to have the right clothing and the right choice. We might not always make the right decisions on that, but it's good to have that opportunity. Not everybody does, of course. Not everybody has warm clothing at all. Not everybody can afford to put heating on. Some people, their windows are frosted up inside and outside, and not just in so-called summer houses, but in their houses too. And yes, lots of us remember those days, but we're not in those days anymore. We're in days where we like to be warm, where we're used to being warm. And we're in a winter where so many people who were so used to being warm are now no longer able to do that. They can't afford to. They make choices of what they're going to have, heating or eating or, in fact, sometimes neither. And minus six out here this morning is, well, it's okay for me because I do have clothing that I can put on. But lots of people who are, are out there um, in that mist, in that fog, in that coldness out there. And it's like there's a mist that's come down that makes them also a wee bit more invisible even than they, they have been before. Invisible because we're probably all happed up and too busy trying to keep warm to stop and chat. Or perhaps invisible because we're just not out so much. We're in our warm homes, warm places, so we don't actually pass them by so much and see them. People who need to sleep out in the streets, people who are out day by day in the streets, who maybe are in bed and breakfast or, or maybe can't just stay at home all the time but need to get out. They need warm places. Our church is warm and people are welcome, not just on a Sunday morning, of course, but any time it's open. It's open this morning for coffees and please anyone who wants a heat or wants some company, come along and join us there. It's good to be in company because that gives you a warmth too. Being warm is not just about the physical warmth. It's about feeling included and feeling that warmth. And well, in the season of Christmas, it's actually what it's all about. It's about family coming home. It's about family being around and having a chat and a catch up. But it's more than our, our family, our genetic family. It's about realising that all creation is one family and we are meant to look after each other and keep each other warm and welcome people in, include people. It's cold outside, but not just in the winter for so many people. Sometimes this world is so cold for people. Summer, autumn, winter, spring. I hear from gardeners that a good frost 
and a good hard frost does the earth good. But a good hard frost doesn't do people much good, whether that is the physical cold, the emotional cold, or even spiritual cold. Because some people feel that they don't belong in God's family. Some people that feel there's not a place for them. So I suppose I'm here to tell you that there is a place for everybody. God loves absolutely everyone, and not just at Christmas time. And not just in this season of goodwill to all, if we can be bothered. But for all time, in all places, God came so that no one would be left out in the cold. He went to the shepherds and invited them into a nice warm stable. <laughs> Maybe not that warm, but certainly warmer than being in the fields outside. He invites us into a family, and a family of which he is the head. A family into which Jesus came to show us how to understand, perhaps, that God's love is for all. So, as we approach Christmas time, and as we do what we can to get through this bitterly cold snap, Remember there are others who are feeling this cold much worse than we are, who are feeling the cold not just in this season as we are, but are struggling all the time. So maybe today's a day to offer warmth to someone, maybe actually to pay for someone's heating, to buy food for someone, add it to a food store. Maybe it's to invite people for a coffee in a nice warm house or a nice warm church. Maybe it's to smile at someone and give them an understanding that there's a warmth in this world that they need to feel. Christmas is for every day, they say. I'm not sure I'd like Christmas every day as we celebrate it, but I certainly would like that goodwill and that wonder of Christmas to be with us every day, that we wouldn't leave people out, but we'd invite them in. So I am going to go back in Um warm up my, my lovely fingers because I can and perhaps we'll find ways to offer someone else a warmth today an acceptance, an inclusion and for our plants well they'll come back again next year as good as ever and stronger perhaps let's make sure we give people that chance too to come back stronger and to blossom and flourish God bless your day Maybe see you for coffee along at the church. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs>